Hey guys, it's Kayler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today is day 42 of the Daily UI. Today I'm going to walk you guys through my to-do list application design. So let's get started here in Sketch. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab an iPhone 7 artboard here. And we're just going to name this Home. First off, let's go ahead and open up a template. I'm going to grab the iOS UI design template. We're going to need to grab a few things from here. First off, I'm going to grab this navigation status bar. I'm just going to copy that, go back into my document, and paste it here. Let's go ahead and position that to the top. Back over in our template, I'm going to go to my symbols page, and I'm going to find this label with the check mark and copy that one as well. I think that's good enough for now, so I'm just going to drag this over here onto my pasteboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag this down, uh, and this is why we use this particular navigation bar. These are fixed down here, so we can scale these nice and easy. Let's make the height on this 90. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and let's just ungroup this, so detach it from the symbol. And then inside there, I'm going to detach this from the symbol as well. And we could just delete this one, and then I think there's a blank one over here on the side delete that as well. So I'm going to change this text to today and we need a hamburger menu now so I'm going to go ahead and draw one out with the line tool. Let's drag out a line. Let's just drag this down so we can work with this easier. Let's do about five spacing on this. For these I'm going to bump the thickness up to two and group them together. So I'm going to make these about 27 wide probably, maybe a little less. I think that'll work. So I'm going to go ahead and, and name this my menu underscore icon and I'm going to drag this folder into my bars and navigation so that we can align these things centered. Let's go ahead and drag both of these down to the bottom and go up about 20. From the side on this one, I'm going to put 30 spacing. For the color of these bars, let's try out a gray color. Let's see what we got in our global colors to try. I'll go with this gray probably. On this text, uh, let's just leave it black for now. So now let's grab the entire artboard and I'm going to select background color and let's make this a nice lighter gray. Actually, let's just make it the same as this gray up top. All right, let's change this to a white color for now. And let's go ahead and start creating our to-do items. So I'm going to grab a rectangle, just drag one out here. Let's make this about 63 high I think and let's change the radius to 5 remove the border and let's make this white and then let's apply a shadow to this so I'm gonna remove the Y value the blur let's try 10 and on the color let's drop down so it's just a nice light shadow Okay, so now I'm going to ungroup my label that I dragged in, and this is going to be our text. So I'm going to center these up. Okay, from the side, let's go about 30, 20-ish in. And then this will be item one. For the color, I'm going to go back to the gray we use for our hamburger menu. That looks pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to drag out another line now. And let's make the thickness on this one three. And then let's make this purple. So I'm using the global colors for that. And then we'll center all of these things up. There we go. So I want this purple to kind of intersect a little bit with this. We can almost make this four and then center it up completely. Yeah, that'll work, it's not too thick. 
All right, so with that done, now we're gonna create a little checkbox that we're gonna be checking. So with the rectangle tool, I'm gonna create a square. I'm gonna apply a five radius for now. Remove the border and let's make this pretty light. Something around there. I'm gonna apply that to my document colors as well. So we can center that up and then put some spacing on the side. Center everything one final time. And then let's group this together. And name this item underscore one. So now I'm gonna hold alt and duplicate this. And I'm gonna do that a few times. Do it, uh, let's see, four times probably will be good enough. Okay. All right, so these bottom two are already going to be completed, and the top two need to be done. So I'm going to remove the purple bar off of these. So let's ungroup these and delete those. I'm going to change the opacity on these to a lower white. So let's go uh, to about 70. That looks pretty cool. And for these boxes, we're going to have this check mark right here inside of those. Uh, we'll do that in a second. For now, I'm going to take my text and let's go with a lighter gray on the text. Something where you can still read it, but it's not completely visible. That looks good. All right, so let's drag our check mark in now. I'm actually just going to center that up inside of this box and duplicate that. Do the same down here. And then I'm just going to delete these two boxes. On this, I'm going to go with the same purple color we've been using. And so we have that right there. All right, so let's create this purple as well. So I'm going to go inside that group and grab that. All right, so let's make it purple. So now our text needs to be changed to white. And then we can change our menu lines by selecting those to white as well. All right, so now we need a white status bar. So I'm gonna go back to my template that I was using. Go to components and grab the white status bar and copy it. We can just paste it in, it doesn't really matter. And with that paste it in, I'm actually gonna just select the one we already have. And I'm gonna go over here and just change it to the white style. And then we can just delete the one we dragged in. Just so we don't have to worry about positioning or anything. So that's pretty cool. All right, uh, next we need a plus icon so we can have more list items. So I'm gonna do that with an oval. So I'm just gonna drag out a circle holding shift and we'll make the border not visible and we'll use the purple color. I'm gonna grab my line tool and just create a nice little plus icon. Make that white, we'll go with two for the thickness. And let's see, let's copy and paste that. And we'll rotate it, holding shift. I'm going to grab both of them, center them up, group them together, and then center them up inside of the circle, and then group that together as well. All right, so there's our plus icon. So I'm going to drag that centered and do about 20 to 30 spacing on the bottom should be fine. And then let's apply a shadow to our circle here. So... So remove the Y value. And then on the color, I'm just gonna drag it just a little bit lighter, just in case we have some to-do items that are down there. So now I'm gonna adjust the shadow on this. I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. Set the Y value to zero. And then let's go like 10 on the blur. Maybe less, let's try four. That looks good. All right, so lastly, let's just change the text in our items here, and we should be good to go. So uh, let's change item one here to uh, clean office. And then we'll make this one design logo. And see, lunch with Tom. And then the last one, we'll say design landing page and so there we go guys that is my design for day 42 of the daily UI this is my list application 
has a today tab with four things to do, two of which are completed. I hope you guys enjoyed following along with me in this design. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. As always, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching the video guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. On the left is my previous video, just in case you missed it. On the right is YouTube's recommendation just for you, and the top center icon is my channel icon. Click that to subscribe for more content just like this. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.